the shear force diagram, I will have to draw the given beam once again. So here I have the beam which is given. I will be projecting the point downwards. Now, the length of shear force diagram should be equal to the length of the beam. I am getting shear force at A value as 27.28 positive. This value will remain constant between A to B. Now at B, the value of shear force is minus 2.72 kN. So downward. Between B to C, there is no load. So again, shear force will remain constant. At C, the shear force is, it is 2.72, which is negative. At D, we are having two values. One is minus 42.72. Next, the other value is plus 28.93. So here, first I'll join between C to D. Since there is UDL, so shear force should be an inclined line. Now, at D, we are having again a value of shear force, which is positive. So one value is negative, other is positive. 28 point. 93 kilonewton as we can see between d to e there is uvl so whenever we have uvl in that case shear force will be a parabola so here i have between d to e a parabolic curve here we have parabola from d to e Next, here is my SFD, point A, B, C, D and E. Between A to B, it is constant. And similarly, between B to C, we have constant shear force. Now, this is the shear force diagram. After this, I will draw the bending moment diagram. And for that, we should have bending moment values. So I'll write down step number three. Bending moment calculations. Here, as we can see in the given beam, it is simply supported at one end and free at the other end. So at the simply support, at the free support, bending moment will be zero. So I'll say that first moment at A is equal to zero since it is simply supported. Next moment at E is equal to zero since it is overhanging beam. Next, I will be calculating moment at B. And for that, we should know the sign convention. If I take section at B and I look left of the section, RA will produce clockwise moment, so that is positive. So here I have 27.28 into 2 
that will give me the value as 54.56 kilonewton meter this is a positive value next bending moment at c my section if it is at c then it will be 27.28 into 4 minus 30 into 2 so moment at c is equal to 49.12 kilonewton meter next i will calculate moment at d and that will be equal to for moment at d i will consider this point load of UVL and 10 sin 40 both are producing clockwise moment to the right and clockwise moment to the right are negative so here I have minus 10 sin 40 into 3 then 22.5 it is downward so negative minus 22.5 into 1 So moment at D comes out to be minus 41.76 kilonewton meter. So once we have all the bending moment values at respective critical points, we can easily draw the bending moment diagram. Moment at A was zero because simply supported moment at E is equal to 0 since it is overhanging portion moment at B we are getting the value as 54.56 moment at C is 49.12 again positive moment at D is minus 41.76 kilonewton meter between a to b there is no load shear force was straight line bending moment is inclined line again between b to c there was no load shear force was a straight line bending moment is an inclined line between c to d there was udl shear force was inclined line so bending moment should be a parabolic curve between D to E there was UVL and whenever we have UVL shear force is parabola and bending moment is cubic curve so I will write down this is cubic from D to E and parabola from C to D and the remaining are inclined line So here we have shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the given question and with this we complete the question.